Thank you for joining us. I'm Kyle Sunders, and I'm new to the Sun News team. Um, I've been asked to come in as a bit of a uh, cultural, philosophical, and miscellaneous correspondent. And today I'm going to be talking to you about something near and dear to all of our hearts, that being escapism. Now, throughout the ages of America, we've had a lot of different things. We've had recreational narcotics. You know, those were good for a time. Uh, we've had video games, both coin-operated and 8-bit, up into our massive, immersive, multiplayer universes. But there's a new, startling, startling trend sweeping America. Are you aware of this? See, in a kind of neo-agro-green granola kind of hyper-psychedelic trend, we have individuals in this country and countries around the world taking mutilated plant matter and making crude iconography on it in scribbles out of carbon, usually made out of burnt other things. You know, it's all about reclaiming and recycling, they say, and it's very harmless. Then they take an indigenous deep jungle plant and they imbibe it with water and other innocuous things like sugar. And here on broadcast television, I'm going to partake of this hallucinogenic experience. They claim that through this form of escapism, through the power of your mind, you can enjoy completely different worlds. So here we have some of our psychedelic liquid. And we have a particularly intense book. And as you can see, there, there's this mutilated plant matter within. And children are actually looking at this filthy particulate it's, it's held together with toxic glues and chemicals. And of course, mutilated corpses of exotic and endangered plants. And they imbibe this substance, which I've just taken. I'm taking a moment to have it metabolize. And then they stare. They stare at these, these crude glyphs. And you're supposed to, you're supposed to see something. I think, I think maybe this is a sighted person thing. Would you like to give it a try? Kill all elected officials. Well, there, there we have it. I, I, think, I think that's proof positive that, that this, this is a dangerous medium. So remember, no matter what you do, you'll either be crushed by the horrors of the humdrum banality of day-to-day -day life, or if you try to escape into a more pleasant existence, that existence will consume your mind. It doesn't matter if it's this horrific, movable, settable type and this mutilated plant cadaver, or if it's your high-tech, high seemingly banal tablet, there is no escape from all the demons in here.